Hello everybody! We are live! Good Friday to each and everyone. Nadito po tayo ngayon in Tambayanihan Garden Cafe for our live Q&A episode. Sorry for the short notice. Hindi natin na pasabi na magkakaroon tayo ng live today but I'm sure we have friends and members of Life Without Rice and Low Carb Feasting and Fasting Community who are always looking and tuning in to our possible live episode. And ngayon is your opportunity actually to ask all of those questions that you've been wanting to ask kasi hindi natin yan cover most of the time because of our limited time. And at the same time, we have different topics when we talk about during Mondays and Wednesdays. But every Fridays, it's our opportunity actually for those who have been meaning to ask questions regarding low-carb and fasting. So we entitled this time, it's How to Start or Restart Low-Carb and Fasting. Kasi minsan, Marami sa atin ang actually naka-low carb na. I think I've had um, many patients no, na who had experience already with low carb. It's just that after a while, medyo nadapa. Kaya nga sabi natin like, uh, pandemic happened, 2020 happened, life happened sometimes na nawawala talaga tayo. And it's, it, it is a common concern. What do we do when we somewhat fall off the way gone? Yun nga, ika nga sabi nila, or ulumiko ng landas, how to get back with low carb, or fasting, or both, okay? Medyo sinisipon ako ngayon kasi my dog went over me kanina, so I've had some irritation sa kanya. Hello, Maria Colleen, Zintz, Pia, Alma. Maria, yes, meron tayong live today. Hello, Marvi. Thank you so much. On time, no? Walang work ngayon. So, Raymer, Anna Jell, hello from Bohol. And thank Fertes Omotoy, hello. Shout out talaga yan. And of course, Sir Robert Yanguas from Riyadh. Johnny Phil from Bataan. We also have your Ella. Karel, and hindi ko mabasa kung ano, but from Manila, need ko mag-restart kasi addicted ulit sa mga biscuits at ibang bawal. Yun, yun talaga yung mga primary concerns ng marami nating mga friends and families na especially na nakasubok na and actually marami may experience talaga with low carb and even fasting. Although, yun nga sabi natin ng iba, don't worry, you are, this time you are not just starting from scratch, but you are now starting from experience. And with your experience, hopefully this time it is much, much better. So Aldo, France, Aldo Francis from Indonesia, like on Anchorage. And to my brother, I think he is watching right now together with his other crew. They're now in Brazil, now on their way back to Manila after more than one year then because my brother Andrew is also a seafarer. So Aurora Rojas from UK. Wow, hello Linda Lara. Yes, that's our topic and I dedicate that to all of those na mga nadapa tulad ni Yor Ella. And Alma Rose, 36 hours dry fasting. And my period came this morning. Is it okay to proceed or break the fast? So it will really be up to you. Ikaw lang talaga ang makakapagsagot niyan if what you feel, no? But in science, since menstruation is as natural actually, so, hindi siya parang ganun talaga na super indication for breaking a fast. So, it will be a relative indication and it will be up to you. Pwede bu ba ito sa breastfeeding? So, I think we've answered that many times before. As long as you are, you are not forcing yourself, you are not starving yourself, you just listen to your body. With breastfeeding, mas marami lang yung demand sa katawan mo. But usually, when we just came from pregnancy, meron din tayong extra fats niyan. So, those extra fats actually that we have are also somewhat like an allowance in case magkakaroon tayo ng fasting period that we can accommodate. But of course, it is the priority not to provide nourishment for your child so as much as possible you choose parent to eat as long as you don't make breastfeeding as an excuse to keep on eating okay so Annalisa hello Yaniko Norma Zita Crispina Myra from QC Hello, Cloud San Jose, Bell Jacinto, tamang-tama po ang topic today, bakit nadapa ba tayo? And Casiber, Palermo Nympha, Mitch Ak 
Akogiko, Akogido from Singapore. So we are all over the world na talaga. And the upcoming our master class, it's already next week, no? So it's just a week from now, next Saturday. We've ha we actually have uh, enrollees coming from Australia, a couple from the USA, Japan, and UK, also from Canada, and of course, marami din from locally, Bacolod mismo, and outside Bacolod who will come here to attend the online face to the face to face class and there will also be those from uh, Cebu Manila and of course Mindanao marami din sa sali din with our master class so i hope you can join we still have until monday to confirm your slot with our clinic manager just look up Alvin Rojo. So, kung nakikita niyo naman yan, he's always active managing our pages. Okay? So, Sheena and Mitch, no, from Singapore. Sheena from Cebu. Annalyn from Bulacan. Rowena May Pab Pabilon na Oko. I have been following and learning a lot from you today and this week. It felt so guilty. I felt so guilty. I eat a lot. Thank you, Doc, for sharing and looking forward I really live to to really live a healthy life. Yes, dun po tayo lahat. And of course, yung pinaka magaling na storyteller natin, Gilbert Salvador, my tan. Maria Sanchez, no rice na po, pero biscuit di kaya. Okay, sige. We will tackle that. How to get away from biscuits, from chichiria, from what else? Yung pinaka mindset natin ng mga snacks, no? Sa, especially in the Philippines. So, we will tackle that. How important really are snacks? Our snacks are essential. And since we know, most of us know talaga na snacks are not essential. But they're somewhat like just part of our routine, our day-to-day -day routine. How to get away from those okay so actually we have moderators in life without rice who are really 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 uh so i can say na even if they're not medically medically trained but their own research their personal research serve them as one of the most amazing human beings i know when it comes to knowledge in low carb nutrition and fasting ang gagaling talaga our discussions in our group chats for mods and admins of life without rice and low carb feasting and fasting community are really really amazing i have feeling ko nag parating merong masterclass sa group chat namin. So, they're really good like that. Si Earl, Oledan, newly, uh, new um, what's and admins natin, si Sir Jim Alagao, Sir Paul, and also, of course, Sir Alan Cura, Chloe, uh, we also have Elise, Miss Rosette, Miss Regina, Charisse, Lyra, and of course, my family. So, Jennifer, uh, Belle Jacinto, Ivy from Taguig. So, nakailang araw na akong high carb dahil lagi akong wala sa bahay, mga nagsaserve ng food sa akin sa mga pinupuntahan ko. Okay. So, kahit mostly naka-high carb tayo, but it's usually mindset. Seldom can you find a food that's purely high carb unless it is snacks. So, kung snacks sa Pinoy, ano bang usual? Sandwich, pancet, spaghetti, mm, bread, kakanin, fruit juice, soft drinks, ano pa ba? So, yun, mga biscuit-biscuit, mga muffins, mga bibingka. So, all those are carbs. But, during main meal, marami ka talagang options. It's just that, at the first, especially if buffet na yung may nagsaserve, kakonte, Kasi you will say no to rice. You will say no to the, the desserts. But there will always be vegetables. And there will always be one or two viands. So, you can eat those. And, pwede ka mag-round two. So, the technique is, especially yung mga, yung mga nagsaserve during buffet, kuha ka lang ng first serving. And usually, hindi talaga yan maubos. There will always be extra food. And kapag nakakuha na ng lahat, you can do your round two para magubusog ka pa rin. Okay? And that way, you will not indulge in high carb. Okay? And snacks, not essential talaga. You can just say no to it or you can just have plain coffee or plain tea. So, Jennifer Bitong, tanong ko lang po, may hyperthyroid po ako, okay lang po ba mag-low-carb diet? So, as I said, low-carb diet is not actually contraindicated to everyone because low-carb is just plain, healthy meals without, no, without the simple sugars, without the fructose, without the artificial sweeteners, okay? So, healthy low-carb, if you follow our food list, hindi naman talaga siya yung grabe ka strict. 
about starting up especially for my patients now who are consulting with me with medical conditions already and cannot imagine what is low carb what is a life without price so yung una una salim una kayo sa group natin which is life without price to get inspirations on how a riceless meal will look like a carb free meal will look like but of course to make it clear it is not zero carbohydrates because carbohydrates there are different types of carbohydrates so carbohydrates is just the, the general term the bigger scope but the most important one that you need to know are the fibers so the fibers are what we call as dietary fibers na hindi natin yan na digest but na digest yan ng gut bacteria natin yung mga bacteria good bacteria sa katawan natin and it makes them live and also it is helping us with our lipid metabolism and also with our bowel movement okay and also meron din tayong um, sugar or yun yung tinatawag natin net carbs yun yung total na amount ng sugar per carbohydrate na nakatumbas nito ay ang pagtaas ng sugar na nasa katawan natin or it increases our blood glucose. So, say for example, uh, one teaspoon, isang kutsaritang sugar na table sugar or brown sugar will have about 4 grams of sugar or glucose or net carbs. And one cup of rice is equivalent to about 44 to 50 grams of net carbs. So, that is actually equivalent to 10 to 12 teaspoon of sugar. So, I want to emphasize that kasi maraming mga tayong mga kapamilya na nagsasabi na hindi naman ako mahilig sa matamis, hindi ako nag-aasukal, hindi ako nagda-dessert. Pero yung rice, dalawang plato, tatlong cups, no? So, a cup of rice is already equivalent to 10 teaspoon of, of table sugar. So, three cups of rice, that's at least 30 teaspoon of net carbs, of net sugar. And others, for others, no, hindi ko lang nadala kasi, but I actually want to show you a book that I saw sa bahay. Kasi nagligpit kami. So, that's actually like my biggest achievement this holy week. Na nakapaglinis kami ng, so, ng bonggang bongga for the last weeks na naprolong namin yung kailangan linisan sa bahay. So, I found this book who or I don't know where it came from. So it was published in 2005. So it, it, it's already quite outdated. But 2005 is actually just 15 years ago. And kapag sinabi natin year 2000, hindi pa yan ganang kaluma. So it's a fix it and forget it. I think it's a book series ng mga recipes. So fix it and forget it. Uh, para siyang recipe book for those with diabetes. And it's so funny na sa intro pa lang niya, meron siyang tatlong tatlong bagay na pinakakailangan daw it comes to diabetes. So, watching your sugar intake, making regular exercise, and lastly, taking your medication. So, it's, it is a cookbook for those diabetics, but it is actually not the healing kind. Hindi kanya papagalingin or hindi hindi niya, hindi siya nagpapromise na wawalain yung diabetes mo. But, it's just that it's making sure that you'll be dependent on your medicine. So funny. And it's laid there right in the cover of the book that it is partnered with ADA or the American Diabetes Association. And their example of a typical day diet, which is around 1,500 kilocalories. Imagine 233 grams of that will be coming from carbohydrates. So, sinasabi nila na lower daw yung sugar. But can you imagine, meron silang mga menu na meron talagang two tablespoons of brown sugar. Just because it's brown sugar, feeling nila healthier na compared to white sugar. And the worst part, they are putting so many ingredients, casseroles and all other fruit pies made up of sweet fruits, ripe fruits, and worse, potatoes and flour and all those. At sinasabi lang nila na kailangan pa rin natin ng sugar. It's just that how much sugar you need, only you can tell. So, sinasabi yan nila sa pasyenteng may diabetes. And taking 233 33 grams of carbohydrates will never make you 
fall out of diabetes it will may it will ensure that you'll be dependent on your diabetic diabetic medications forever meron silang simple q and a in the end hindi ko na matapos tapos i can really not swallow it i cannot afford to swallow it sinasabi nila you have to know about insulin but they divide they, they divided it only into two type one is that they're right in type 1 because in type 1 the pancreas is not capable of producing insulin so the person doesn't have insulin talaga but and their only management is for insulin injection for that person sama totoo naman but actually if the person with type 1 diabetes will stay low carb or zero carbohydrates which is now the practice of young families with type 1 diabetes of course still under the guidance of doctors who are practicing low carb nakikita nila that their insulin need per day is very very low as compared to traditional diet of high carb meals three meals a day they are taking long acting insulin at bedtime and they are injecting three times of short acting insulin every before meal and sometimes they eat, they even have a rescue dose of insulin that is ini inject right after eating kapag na sobrahan yung sugar intake nila so imagine how hard that is to manage just because you are adjusting your food intake according to your insulin dose and the worst part to that book i think when he talks about adult onset diabetes which is the most common among so many filipinos right now Sabi niya, the the book the person that with type 2 diabetes is either secreting low amount of insulin or insulin is no longer functioning. I know I don't know. I don't know if they don't know about insulin resistance yet that time or they just intentionally put it there. But it we know now that diabetes mellitus type 2 or yung mga adult onset diabetes, the ones you sinasabi nating familial, yung mga sananay, tatay, tito, tita, lolo, lola natin, those are actually a byproduct of insulin resistance. And with insulin resistance, there's really no scarcity of insulin. Hindi kinukulang yung insulin. In fact, sobra-sobra yung insulin. But our body, because of too much insulin stimulation for so long, it becomes numb to it. Nagiging manhid na tayo dito. And that is what is insulin resistance is all about. And when there is insulin resistance, kahit bumabaha na yung sugar sa katawan mo, kahit bumabaha na yung insulin sa katawan mo, yung sugar mo tataas pa rin kasi hindi siya makakapasok sa usual insulin-dependent cells like the fats and the muscles, but it will flood your other organs that are vulnerable like your liver so it can induce fatty liver inflammation it can cause damage to your nerves it can cause damage to your brain it can cause damage to your eyes kaya maraming nabubulag diabetic nephropathy ophthalmopathy and diabetic nephropathy is the diabetes induced kidney damage and because kidney parts of our kidney the very fine networks in our kidney called the nephrons are not dependent on insulin so na flood sila with sugar and that presence of too much sugar is actually damaging so yun lang sorry hindi yun tanong but kinento ko lang sa inyo so we will go back to q and a so cloud san jose how about with gallstones issues okay ba mag fasting so usually uh in general since this is again not our consultation this is just a general knowledge for educational purposes but for specific medical concerns of course we advise talaga proper consultation kasi iba iba yung per condition ng mga pasyente no so but in general those with gallstones depending on what size no Definitive management is still needed. So, for example, kung malaki na, kailangan talaga kong perahan or kailangan talagang kunin muna yung stone. Otherwise, if you will, you will have two options. If you will continue with your low fat, in low fat and high carb diet, the stone that you have there, 
will continue to increase in size because of no fat. So, yung bile sludge, hindi siya continuously wash off and replenish. So, magsa-stagnate lang siya dyan. And the insulin induced coming from high carb, it will make your gallstone become bigger and bigger and bigger. So, magkaklag siya. More likely ito, mas lalaki. And how about if you do low carb and high fat? So, there will be continuous replenishment of your bile acids. If your stone is very small, so like parang sand lang siya, so there's a likely possibility na pwede mo siyang excrete. But if it's already bigger than your cystic duct or yung labasan ng ating gallbladder, then there's also a risk of uh, obstruction and complication na pwede kang ma-emergency na kailangan operahan. But either way, either gagawin mo siyang operation as elective, meaning kahit hindi pa siya nag-obstruct o pa-operahan mo siya, or hihintayin mo, you will take the risk of going into fasting and low-carb, then at least know that those are the possibilities, okay? So, make sure that you are well hydrated during those fasts. And mine over body, maayong gabi from Dubai. Ginahandyad kayo po mga bistak na nasa Dubai. Mama Regina Bumanglag, good afternoon. Mac Villela, hi doc, from two cups of rice to half cup, isang meal lang. Siguro by next week, kaya na talaga ng no rice. Tanong lang, doktora, ilang pirasong kamatis ang pwede per day? So, yung kamatis talaga, marami talaga issue yung kamatis, no? If it's too ripe, it can be sweet because... per meal. I think one or two kamatis, you won't mind. But uh, kamatis is also marami siyang phytotoxin. No? So, I think we lecithin content. Okay, so lecithin are those that are Na kung kainin natin, it can induce some degree of inflammation. Exposed from time to time. So that hindi ito masanay ng wala talagang kahit anong inaaway. Okay? And those plant lecithins, as long as you don't overconsume them. So, for example, when you when you you have those uh, tomatoes or your all of that, you either cook it or you remove the the cover, the skin or re you remove the seeds. That way, you minimize that amount. Okay? So, one or two, as long as hindi naman sobra-sobra talaga. And what we also advise, no, kaya natin binibigyan ng more variety yung page natin, yung group natin na Life Without Rice because we don't want people eating the same things every day or else their nutrient component will not be varied. They will not be getting all the nutrients that they need. And also, sustainability-wise, mas maganda pa rin if we have different foods para mas exciting yun din yung buhay. I know, I understand, for compliance purposes, especially with busy life, pinakamadali talaga na no? yung ultimate ultimate na nakikita natin. No offense ha, but it's like just yung pinaka-usual talaga, lettuce, cucumber, at itlog. Okay? So, that's okay. That's for a good start. But that can be your just your staple. Pero kung pwede, you make it Mm, more exciting from time to time. Like, your egg, it doesn't need to be hard-boiled. Pwede ka mag-omelette. Pwede mo siyang gawing egg rolls. No, uso yung egg rolls ngayon sa community natin, di ba? So, you can do so many other things para mas masaya naman. So, Lady Asis, question, what's the best explanation to our kids who keeps on asking why we don't eat certain foods like rice and bread? I think that is the best opportunity for you to educate your kids about good eating. Number one, if you are having a hard time explaining that, meaning you really don't know the science behind why you are eating that. Because if you really don't know, then it's easy for you to also include that same way of eating for kids. Hindi kailangan ng kids yung rice para lumaki. 
mas lalaki sila with more proteins, okay? We even have what we call as squash or core malnutrition. There's two kinds of malnourished kids. Yung isa, marasmus, yung butot balat talaga, at yung isa ay squash or core. So, yung marasmus or marasmic child, yun yung butot balat kasi kulang sa overall calories. Walang proteins, walang carbohydrates, walang fats. Totally naka-fasting yung mga bata. Yung pangalawa naman is is maras uh, is kwashior core. So kwashior core akala natin healthy kasi mataba. Tapos uh, ang kukyot pero when you the, when you take their measurement, they're they're very very sickly. Yun pala, they are just bloated with water. And that happens with poor protein and poor fat na diet. So nangyayari yan usually for those very very low income communities na yung mga mothers pinapainom nila sa mga bata ay wala silang binibigay na pagkain but they only give them like condensed milk o yung mga artificial na mga milk made up of half containing sugar dinidilute nila ito with water and as long as matamis iniinom ng mga bata. So the children are actually just consuming Carbohydrates, all sugar, without proteins, without fats. So they grow big and big and wide and fat and looks cute. That's because of insulin effect. But there's no structural component supporting proteins, overall growth, overall development. Kaya hindi ang mga bata they have the capacity to be intelligent, to be the best version of themselves, given the right nutrition, and it doesn't need to come from sugar. Okay, so for those children that are asking why you are not eating carbs and rice, it's you just say that you you are trying to be healthy and because this rice, even if this is not sweet, it will be the same effect as eating sweet. So that's why if you can, you can also include your children into that low carb meals okay or at least minimize if they want to eat it eat rice then let them be but if they don't want to eat rice you don't need to force them you are better off preparing them real foods like eggs meat chicken beef fish and best to supplement them with vegetables if they can still be 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 convinced to eat so okay Hello, Dr. Paano po ba mag-gain ng weight kahit naka low carb? Masyado na ako pumayat. So, if you are already very thin with low carb, it must be that you've already maximized your fat fat burning process. So, this is actually the best time for you to gain weight. But this time, you gain weight through muscles. Remember, it's use, it's useless to have a normal weight but mostly composed of fats than having a low normal weight or parang payat but just made up of lean protein and less fats, okay? So if you want to gain more weight, you make sure that your gain weight will now be coming from muscle. So this is actually the best time for you to start exercising. So cardio exercises will make you burn more fats, but doing weightlifting, doing some HIIT and specifically muscle building exercises are your best gauge. At huwag itong madaliin and you also pair it up with high protein meals para mas maganda yung energy consumption and at the same time muscle building. Okay? Kung may picos, M and kung may picos, ka paano po magpapayat? So, you have to understand that picos or polycystic ovarian syndrome is just a manifestation of insulin resistance. So, again, insulin resistance, number one reason of that is too much insulin in the body. What causes too much insulin in the body? It's too much sugar in the body. So how to limit uh, too much sugar in the body? Yes, of course, you lower your stress, but most importantly, you reduce your dietary sugar intake. So whenever we say sugar intake, we are not just thinking about sugar that's coming from from honey, from fruits, from sweeteners, from molasses, from ano pa ba, mascovado, sugar, brown sugar, cocoa sugar, all those. But even the breads that you are eating, even the pandesal that you are eating, those can still be converted into sugar. So avoid those. And for inspiration, 
you can join our groups life without rice for more meals that can help you decide what to eat each and every day hello tita army thank you so much a good friday to you i hope to see you soon aurora rosa rosas doc i'm on my first week of low carb diet and my sugar is low my insulin injection is down from 20 to 10 units na lang. Thank you. I'll continue to do this and I want to buy your book, please. Yes, if you wish to buy our books, you can just directly comment from our page. It's, it's perfect at last. Weight, health, and wellness. Or you can DM our our clinic manager, Alvin Juarajo. So, and also, if you're in Manila, you can purchase it through Little Retail PH. So, they they have a copy of our books that you can. And I'm so proud of you that you were able to taper down your insulin dose. Just make sure that you are doing this under a medical supervision or at least uh, with enough knowledge. Because if you are having very low glucose you remember you can have more emergencies having severe hypoglycemia than hyperglycemia especially if you're diabetic if you've been a diabetic for so long your body is actually somewhat tolerant to higher to higher sugar dose but lower abrupt lowered dose of uh, of sugar in the body brought about by medications brought about by exogenous or external insulin injections is more threatening life-threatening so you have to make sure that you do it safely okay so Cheryl Lilani. Uh, so, thank you so much. I'm on 12th day of LC Diet. Naku, ang bilis. Hindi ko mabasa. <laughs> so, may GERD and gastritis. Yes, meron po akong for those with GERD, astra arthra GERD, gastritis, and ulcer. I have a YouTube video. You just you just uh, search my name, Josephine Grace Rojo, and then hyperacidity and fasting bayon and then it will reveal there it's just, it's just a couple of minutes of video but it will help you uh be knowledgeable that fasting and low carb is not a contraindication in fact you can even possibly heal your gastritis and the gird on it we've had experience with so many patients already so victoria choice aj biato is constipation expected for those on L lcif so constipation, you we have to quantify that because constipation, if you have bloating and difficulty bowel movement and painful talaga at kung meron mga dumudugo, so that's really constipation. But with clean low carb and especially mostly animal based proteins, so that is what we call as high in bio bioavailability. So almost all of the foods that you eat most likely they you really consume them so it is expected that stool hypertrophy or yung paglaki ng stool liliit talaga so liliit yung stool bulk but it's not a cause of worry as long as you don't feel sick you don't feel bloated you're not having a hard time passing those out and of course other essentials would be water fiber is actually just it will be different from person to person. I know people who are not having any amount of fiber in their diet, but they are defecating regularly than others who are eating so much, almost all plant-based diet. And of course, magnesium and potassium are also essential for proper bowel movement. So, Helen, kamusta po? Eleanor, uh, fasting kahit may mitral valve stenosis. So, for those with specific medical concerns, it's better to consult your doctor first. And how much fasting do you need? Intermittent fasting daily, no problem. But if you want to do longer fast, I suggest you do it under a specific, uh, under medical supervision. So our consultation is Monday to Friday, and one to five p.m. But since I have local clinics here, sometimes we really have to schedule ahead. Okay, I think we are fully booked this coming week. So, but don't worry, comes the comes master class after we finish our master class i hope i will be able to provide you with a longer list of low carb doctors that 
I can assure you are very, very well to handle all of your cases. So, mas marami na po. Mas dadami po yung local practitioner here in Bacolod and hopefully we can help as many people. And kung meron, hopefully meron din malapit sa inyo because I also understand iba pa rin talaga when we have face-to-face -face consultations. And my brother is here, Andrew Kichua Rojo, watching from Brazil. Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts daw sabi ni Dr. Berg is the safest nuts in the world kasi it is only found and harvested in Amazon forest and the more we eat and buy Brazil nuts the more they are forced to do planting and reforestation of the Amazon forest so isn't it nice so go for Brazil nuts June Lopez, I replaced not sorry ang sa ang mahaba. Um, bakit ang bilis bilis? Hindi ko ata mahabol. Kusa po gagaling yung girl. Sabi ni na la senyora shop and ship. So far na nagihil ang talaga. Pero it's good also to have proper knowledge, especially if meron na kayong episodes of uh, of ulcerative bleeding, yung nagbibleed na talaga. So, it's better to heal that first, no? To make sure. Evelyn Suiko, I'm planning to break my fast with the fresh celery and cucumber juice. Is it so bad to add one? Uh, I think I have a a post about breaking a fast. If it's just long, shorter fast, less than three days, it's actually good as long as you don't break it anything with carbohydrates so the carbohydrates in celery and cucumber are mostly fiber and very very low carb so i think that's just safe wag lang lagyan ng sweeteners okay gilbert kahit kami po umad since yesterday kaya namin na kaya kasi wala kaming appetite hindi kami nagugutom pero normal ang katawan namin yes of course no kapag sanay na talaga with umad so, Louis Saikon, watching live here from live, watching live in Abu Dhabi, UAE. Absolutely love the pointers here because sila are convinced to start eating healthy. And I hope, uh, especially for those in Middle East, no, and you are in a closed Filipino community, I really hope at least one of you can join the masterclass and be the start of a low carb coaching at least coaching facility or group there in UAE. Kasi, uh, I've been to Dubai. Sobrang mura ng fruits doon. Sobrang sarap, sobrang fresh. But we have to be really, really careful. Kasi, at you can even maximize the good stuff in UAE if you know how to do proper intermittent fasting and how to do, how to do proper feasting then. So, I really encourage you that. And yes, uh, you can really, really help more. And what kayo mag -alala. Everything else will be provided. So, unsay maayo fasting intermittent or keto? So, usually, keto, yung strict talaga, na low, low, very strict low carb, less than 20 grams, and very high fat. So, that is actually a fast mimicking diet. Na kahit hindi ka nagpa-fasting, kumakain ka, but the reaction that it puts in your body, except for autophagy, hindi talaga na ma-maximize yung autophagy with keto diet. Autophagy, sadly, mas ma-activate lang talaga siya with fasting. Okay? So, eventually, maybe, if you are doing keto and reducing your overall caloric intake, you can have some autophagy. But generally, keto will just be good for weight loss. But for overall health talaga, just a simple low carb you can do with intermittent fasting. So usually, like I myself and I think other mods like Olidan, we've started with intermittent fasting first. I started with intermittent fasting first and then jumped into extended fasting. And then eventually, I realized that if I want to to retain the benefits that I got from my intermittent fasting and extended fasting, I should really pair it up with low carb para hindi masayang. Out po si Apple. Yes, out po si Apple. Kasi, of course, if you're already at the top of your health, wala ka nang kahit anong problema when it comes to your weight, health, and no other issues, those in our caution list, like apples, you can take a slice a day, okay? But hindi pwedeng may slice ka na ng apple, may isang cup ka pa ng rice, tapos nagde-dessert ka pa ng nagde-dessert ka pa ng cheesecake, tapos may coke ka pa dyan, or kung ano-ano pa. So, caution list, you must take it very, 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 very responsibly. R. Albano. Hi, Doc. Just got my blood cam. LDA. So, hi, normal. 
uh, HDI are good, triglyceride small, health in the year, wala namang hindi. Another thing, BUA is also high. Uh, so, what does it indicate? So, R, medyo mahaga yan. Usually, uh, we have to do a proper consult para investigate natin what were you eating because mostly, especially if you've been learning from 99% of other low-carb and keto keto groups, no? When it comes to food eating, what what others, those advocate talaga is just low-carb. But they're not looking into inflammatory foods. They're not looking into foods that can damage eventually your kidneys, that increase your uric acid, that increase your SGPT. They are just into ketosis and fat burning. But we have to balance that. And just, don't worry, you are already on the right track. It's just needed some fine-tuning, some electrolyte supplement, and some conscious, conscious uh, mindful eating when it comes to certain foods like the unessential cholesterol if they taken too much or if you want you just need to increase your physical activity to burn those so Zerma Oser keep safe Pat Lapidario thoughts po on diabetasol yun ba yung parang mga insured din yung mga gatas na for diabetics so, since you know that I advocate real food, so I always do my safe list, no? So, we have a safe list. So, walang diabetesol doon. Walang processed milk doon. I think the only processed milk na nandun ay unsweetened almond milk. And even that, you should take into, you should take in moderation. So, my, for diabetesol or whatever food supplement or meal replacement that you have, try to check the label the nutrition facts if it contains more than 10 5 to 10 milligrams per 5 to 10 grams of sugar per serving of 30 grams so that's actually one third no one third of that is made of sugar okay so mirna misala hi Gay Cadorna, mayang gabi doc, mayang gabi isa doc, and Melanie Argazan Aquina. Hello, how's your fasting? And Aurora Rosas, I'm doing it slowly, actually, and safely. That's good to know. Safe is always better. And, and, but I admire your courage still for starting. Okay? Juliet Carillo Freak, Naka joins alive. Yes, welcome. Okay, and we have, hello, thank you so much, Clo. So, intermittent fasting and hyperacidity. Clo is one of our moderators from Japan. How do you know if you're already fat adapted? So, number one, there's no more food cravings. So, and you can now function. You'll know that you can, as long as you have fats to lose, hindi ka parating nagugutom. Okay? And uh, hindi ka na parating giniginaw. So, you're mostly burning fat. Fats. And also, your need for glucose is not there because ma yung body mo is already fueling on ketones. So, if you want to maximize the benefit, don't ever do the wrong thing of giving into carbs. Kasi akala mo na hack mo na yung katawan mo at pwede ka na mag indulge in carbs. Only to go back from scratch and end whatever progress you've already made. So, sayang. Tanong let doktora. Ano pwedeng inumin na hindi mag-break yung fasting? So, whenever we break our fasting, we have two different things that we have to consider. What fasting are you doing for just weight loss? Fat weight loss, that is ketosis, or autophagy or healing. So, fasting for autophagy. So, yun talaga yung pinaka-strict. Okay? So, as long as it's a zero calorie, so you can have water. Uh, some isolated electrolytes like salt, sodium and potassium you can take that so it will be different others will allow water uh, with ACV apple cider vinegar or others with plain coffee or tea okay but for when it comes to to ketosis breaking your ketosis so those things like MCT oil, those will not break your ketosis, but will definitely break your autophagy because that is already calorie-containing, like 
bulletproof coffee or your bone broth okay so if your goal is just fasting for weight loss for ketosis and for like very very slow progress of healing so you can do that so break fast break fast for ketosis or break fast for autophagy but if you want to go as clean as possible and if especially if you are just doing short fasting so you don't need to really think so much so much deeper on that as long as you break it with something that is of low carbohydrate content okay so romeo gi blanca 45 hours na po ma'am target plan easter sunday 4 p.m okay i hope you will be successful too and of course your first meal doesn't need to be uh, at 4 p.m. talaga. Kasi baka meron kang prepared na feast dyan at mabigla yung chan mo. Better to start like in the morning, you can already start with your bone broth. And then by lunchtime, you can already eat some pro, you can already have some probiotics. And then maybe mga early afternoon, you can already have some steamed vegetables or an egg so that by 4 p.m. proper meal na talaga and you can enjoy kasi minsan if you go directly into your proper meal after a long fast many people are having diarrhea it's because their gut biome yung mga yung intestines nila ay patay pa tulog pa hindi pa sila handa sa more processing okay Mirna Misola sobrang happy po ako dahil nakita ko po kayo karamihan po ng doktor dito Manila against LCIF thanks God andyan po kayo at huwag ka magalala hindi lang yan sa Manila but sa buong mundo but we are here and we are growing and we are also growing because we have people who are still supporting and believing in us. So, thank you din po. And Dalagang Bukid from NC and Ling Marapao. Why are these obese, overweight persons have their random FBS, HbA1c, and fasting insulin numbers are always in normal ranges? It's because usually they their body was still able to accommodate those extra insulin as going into fat storing but it will be only such a point until yun nga sinasabi ko they're actually lucky because their body is giving them, them the signal that they're already eating it so much lumalaki sila pero yung iba hindi masyadong lumalaki pero bigla nilang tumataas because their body cannot accommodate insulin because they, they are not fat formers but the moment they will have and it will not be sustainable if they continue with their lifestyle eventually they will go into insulin resistance and if they will wait for that point then losing weight and reversing their overall health will be much 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 difficult so wag kayong ma somewhat ma feel bad na sila ay normal at ikaw hindi kayo you will be you will be proud of yourself that you are already taking control of your health and i know you are on your way to healing so god bless po arlene bakulio Paano po ang pagdadayat ng may high blood or fasting? Thanks po. So, we have a beginner's guide on how to do it slowly but surely. Meron tayong video we made about how beginner's guide for low carb and fasting. So, slowly, you can do that. What I usually tell my patient, isa lang yan. Like, yung mga talaga mga wala talagang idea how to do low carb. So, yung sinasabi ko usually, actually, wala kang kailangan baguhin sa prepare mong pagkain everyday. No? Yung ulam, ganun pa din. Yung gulay, ganun pa din. It's just that, hindi ka na magsasaing. But I think I have to emphasize, kasi tayo sa Pilipino, yung mga panset, palabok, yung mga noodles, akala natin ulam. When that is already a carbohydrate, that is just a rice replacement. So, if we can first correct our mindset that yung ulam talaga, yung main course is made of, of meat, made of animal products mostly, and you can supplement it with green leafy vegetables, salads if you want, or kung gusto mo, alogbate, talbos ng kamote, malunggay, and all those, even lettuce, cabbage, pet chai, you can stuff your body with those and you will never go wrong. And if you're afraid of eating fats, no, so huwag, hindi kita pipilitin. You can, what you can do though is add a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in your salad or in your greens and also get a tablespoon of uh, VCO or MCT oil in a day and also very very important also especially if you eat a fatty meal made up of cholesterol coming from animal, animal products you would like to supplement also with fish oil 
the omega-3 so that your overall intake of omega-3 versus other fats like omega-6 will be somewhat equitable, okay? So, saan po clinic mo? Sa Manila po ba or sa Bacolod? Right now, I'm in Bacolod and I just do online consultations for those outside Bacolod, okay? So, you can send a message to my page para mabigyan po kayo ng schedule. Jodato Adamas, good evening po. An info, how many gram carbs will two piece pandesal have? Ah, uh, one, yung two-piece pandesal, depende sa size, no? So, yung pinakamurang pandesal, yung mga magandang kakaliit. So, yung equivalent yan, parang half cup of, of rice. So, two pandesal would be like one cup of rice. And that is equivalent to 11 to 12 teaspoon of white sugar. So, depende na sa'yo. And kung maniniwala tayo, sa, Philippi, uh, sa American Heart Association, net carbs for males is only 9 grams per day so if that's your only food uh, if that's your only carbohydrate intake imagine wala ka ng allowance for kahit vegetables so sayang naman so but if you want you can have one and half pandesal <laughs> but one and half pandesal will actually have a similar carbohydrates of dalaw uh, of i think around six to eight cups of green leafy vegetables so it's up to you kung anong pipiliin mo Rain Bautista, pwede ba silitol gum during fasting? So, if you ask me, so it's a no because I advocate clean fasting and most in, most especially, I don't advocate, even if I have a sweet tooth, I don't advocate taking anything sweet even on your eating window because as what I've posted, it will alter the brain chemicals in our brain and it will make us crave more and give us unnecessary cravings and we can tend to over overeat on other things okay so xylitol it's a sugar alcohol and it can have some insulin effect but most likely the sweet taste will have that insulin effect so it's up to you if you if it's making your fast fast longer or better so a fast with xylitol is better than not fasting at all so ganun pa din. it's a trade-off so we are pro-choice so sad nasa sa inyo na yan so Nika, ano po pinakamagandang IF schedule? So, I will never know unless it's your schedule. That's why I sinasabi ko rin, usually when I have consultations with my patient, I also ask their work schedule, typical sleeping time, typical waking time, para ma-plot ma natin kung ano yung parang best IF schedule nila. And not just IF schedule, but also circadian fasting schedule so that we are not we as we are doing intermittent fasting we are also not damaging our circadian rhythm so regardless if you're on a night shift graveyard shift pwedeng mahanapan niya ng paraan but that is quite another thing to discuss na hindi natin madiscuss masyado ngayon okay so Kat Suarez BPM is it okay na ang baby ko is ayaw na din kumain ng rice kasi nakikita niya na hindi rin ako kumakain and my mother-in-law my diabetes and high blood can she practice low carb even walang advice ng doctor niya so yun for those nga na meron ng medical conditions and with with uh, maintenance medications better talaga to consult a doctor first it's up to you if you will ask your doctor to guide you if they're not open or knowledgeable and hopefully they are open and knowledgeable about low carb para mas mag guide kayo on how to slowly wean off those medicines because the moment you do low carb talaga expected na babagsak yung sugar babagsak yung high yung blood pressure and if you will not be able to lower those the dose adequately it will risk your mother into having severely low blood sugar or hypo hypo hypotension and hypoglycemia so we don't want that so a proper tapering down and hindi rin pwedeng bigla biglang kunin or walain yung mga gamot because that can also lead to a rebound effect so like in hypertension biglang shoot up kasi bigla bigla tinanggal yung gamot so dapat if we are to remove those medicines it will be slowly tapered down so a proper consultation is advice and if you want you can start finding a low carb doctor to guide you as well water kefir so water kefir para lang yan uh, water na fermented water so somewhat okay lang naman but better to take then during feasting renan kachon 
Qatar done 36 hours fast today at 6 a.m. and I feel good. Congratulations, Pa. Are there, there doctors here in Cebu who practice low carb keto diet or advocate of IF carb? I have friends and classmates who read the books and they are somewhat practicing it, but I just don't know if they are practicing it to their patients, so I cannot recommend yet. But I, for me, I know a lot of low carb doctors who are open online. Sa ngayon, meron bang naka enroll na low carb doctor na sa Cebu based? I'll have to check. Hindi ko pa nakita yung master list ng, ng master class namin. And hopefully, meron talaga. I really want to have doctors all over the Philippines para meron tayong mapuntahan talaga. Kasi especially, for example, no, kung merong hindi naman natin hinihingi, but it, we, if we have family members who will get admitted in the hospital, hindi talaga tayo makakademand on what they will feed the patient there. Because typical hospital meals are very, very high in sugar. So, yun yung nakakasad lang. So, Cedric Vehement, paano adjustment gagawin? 16.08 po ako, 10 a.m. po, kumakain, then ngayon, then nag-gym 2 p.m., then kain po ulit 4 or 5 p.m. Wala po ako lakas pag nag-gym ako. So, hindi actually yan sa kain mo. It's more on the, it's not about your IF schedule, but it's about what you are eating. Most likely, you are losing more electrolytes than you are eating. So, better have enough electrolyte supplementation with that. Especially kapag merong physical activity. Okay? Dalagang Bukid, Winston-Salem, have a blessed Good Friday. First time to do EF through Easter Eve. Wow! Hopefully, I can make it. Stay safe. Yes, palayo muna tayo. We better turn off muna notifications from Life Without Rice for those who want to be successful in their past. Kasi iba talaga yung ginagawa ng Life Without Rice. Uh, ano. That's actually the reason why we have two groups. No? Kaya lang ngayon, Life Without Rice became more popular. But actually, the first group that we made, it's just the Perfect Class Support Group. It's supposedly made for those who are doing fasting, who are readers of the Perfect Class books that I wrote. And then, eventually, we shifted it to low-carb feasting and fasting community. And since we are dedicating that group for those support, for those who are going to do low-carb and fasting, we don't want to jeopardize their fasting routine, their fasting schedule with food posts. That's why we made Life Without Rice as a supplementary group so that we can, during our feasting period or food preparations, we can have more inspirations there but i think some are instead of inspiration must not attempt silang mag break na kanilang fast earlier so more power when it comes to your discipline and everything uh at kawit okay okay pa ba ang master class bukas mrs koi pa join ko okay conflicts sa sked ko yes sir i will confirm with the alvin but i think we will close it by monday i think monday monday april 5 will, will be the final master list po. So, I think pasok pa yung isis niya. Okay? Thank you. And Princess Evelina watching from Zamboanga. I hope you are well now, Princess. Vini, Viney, Vines. I have 277 cholesterol taking meds. Only 5 days no rice program but still eat cakes. <laughs> what should I take for my cholesterol? Instead of you thinking what you should you take for your cholesterol, I, I would rather tell you what you shouldn't take for your cholesterol. And those are the cakes, okay? So again, emphasize lang, life without rice is simply not just rice. So rice yan sa ating group is just a symbolic term for overall sugar, simple sugar and carbohydrates. The only carbohydrates that we allow are the ones that are low calorie, high in fiber, high in, natu high in nutrient content. I think yung allowed dyan na hindi high in nutrient content but high in fiber, it's just psyllium husk, okay? So, yung psyllium husk, wala talaga yung nutrient. It's just fiber. But it's making a lot of our dishes somewhat feel like the high-carb ones. But it is of almost zero calorie. So, that is approved. So, yung idea is, life without rice will not be successful if you keep on eating other kinds of our carbohydrates. Especially the worst kind of carbohydrates. And sadly, those are your desserts, colas, soft drinks, fruit juices and all those melchon 
I'm new here. Hello, Mel. Welcome. I'm glad meron tayo from, I think, every week. Meron talaga tayo mga first-timers to watch our live episode. And we welcome them very, very much. And I see you were able to to get the books from Amazon. Thank you. What kind of test I should request for my doctor to check my overall health condition pre-post IFLSC? IFLC? So, meron lang yan usually basic labs. And uh, actually, yung kada diagnostic laboratories they have got parang package so it would include FBS although personally I'd rather go for HbA1c so because FBS madaling ma manipulate pwede siyang ma change on a day to day basis but your HbA1c or your 3 month average of sugar level will be hard, will be very very hard to manipulate so it will really be seen how good your sugar control is and of course uh, lipid profile sodium potassium th those are just optional CBC UA those are just generic but doesn't cannot really make you give so much information unless meron talagang gross damage so SGPT SGOT for your liver uh, BUA BUN and creatinine for your kidney function but if you can add CRP or C-reactive protein to check your level of inflammation in your body mas maganda then if you have okay how about chia seeds? Pwede ba yun to include sa food list? Yes, nandun yung chia seeds natin sa ating safe list. But again, hindi naman kailangan na puro chia seeds ang lahat. And did you know, kahit mataas yung fiber ng chia seeds, but it can also add more to constipation, if, especially if you are not doing a regular routine and not drinking so much water. So, bumanglag, Regina, kahit nakapikit, marinig ko lang bosses ng Dirt Doc, Mako, Masaya Nako. I love you, Mama Regina. Jem Michael Cabalia Reyes. Hello, Doc. Lagi ako nalilate. It's okay. It's good that we can have replay. Fred Manamtan, Doc, can I drink coffee with Stevie Erythritol during 16 IF for weight loss? Um, of course you can, but if you want to your progress to be faster, cleaner, and better talaga when it comes to overall health, mas maganda pa rin to stick as as clean as possible so if you've tried that before why not do an experiment of wala talaga and you can see the magic of if really coming in okay live bacteria that are good for your for your digestive system are kimchi plain your yogurt kung meron kayong sauerkraut and meron kayong meron yung ibang probiotic talaga na you can just easily take in okay Congrats, Melanie, for the almost done 72 hours pass. Always stay safe. Pa. How to restart again, Rodoctora? So, focus on your goals and then remove those na nakakapada pa sa'yo. Remember, if that certain food is making you crave, then it's really not good, okay? And just remember, the more you crave, uh, the more you eat, the more you crave. So, you first remove the remove the yourself from that vicious cycle by not starting in the first place so forgive yourself muna how to restart forgive yourself and learn from it and promise yourself to do better this time remember your motivations your loved ones your own health your own profession your own future self you can do those and make this first step as your gift to yourself kailangan talaga yan so restart again yung sabi natin you are no longer starting from scratch, but you are now starting from experience. And I hope this time it will be better. And surround yourself with supportive community. And we are lucky. We already have a growing number in Life Without Rice for food inspirations. Also, for our low-carb feasting and fasting community, you can throw in your questions there. You can tag me if you want. But generally, if it's uh, general knowledge, marami po tayo moderators, admins, and members who are very much uh giving and very much open to share their own experience that you can also help okay you can also learn from so teresa asinto from bulacan ni normal po ba minsan walang gana kumain during lcif yes especially when you're already fat adapted because your body are already is already very very conscious when it is already eating too much so those cues na walang gana 
Huwag pilitin. Huwag muna kumain. How to deal with insomnia? Low carb keeps me up at night. So that's why with my patients, I usually make sure na meron tayong circadian correction. The first thing to do naturally with circadian correction is have your last meal at least 4 hours before your bedtime. So if you plan to, to sleep around 10, make sure that your last food intake is around 6 in the evening and your coffee and caffeine is not beyond, beyond 1 in the afternoon, okay? Or else, yung melatonin production mo ay mawawala na kapag gabi. And we are already more than one hour. But, dami 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 pang questions. Pili ako ng isang question randomly para masagot natin before we close. Via Vicente, mom ko, nagkaroon po ng involuntary movement sa arms and leg niya. Due to high sugar, pwede po kaya siya mag-low carb diet. And if meron na siya maintenance medications, again, better to have consult first, no? Ideally, with a low carb doctor para matulungan how to slowly taper down. But for now, your mother can just start by removing those toxic sugar talaga na nakakapag-overshoot ng, ng kanyang, na kanyang blood sugar. So, all the sweets, breads, rice, kung pwede, ma-remove muna. Kumain ng gulay, 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 gulay. Kung patakot, pwede kumain ng baboy. Kung takot, kumain ng baboy, then you can have fish. Lots of fish and other meat, Okay. So, it's up to you. Hi, Park Shen from CDO. I hope you're already in the middle of your fast now. I wish you well. And, medyo marami pa. Other term for life without rice is life without carbs. Yeah, yun talaga yun. Kaya lang, hindi lang siya, baka hindi pumatok yung group natin kapag life without carbs. Kaya life without rice. Kasi rice eater tayo eh. Tayo nga nag-train ng mga how to grow the best rice in the fields, di ba? Especially sa mga Nueva Ecija dyan. Elizabeth Vergara, Coke Zero, really zero calorie, can or cannot take, first time to watch live, welcome Elizabeth, however I made a post I think just a few days ago about keto approved, local approved drinks and Coke Zero is one of that, so kindly check that that link no? and the idea behind why I don't promote it even if it's keto and low carb approved and the decision will be yours if eh, gusto mo siyang inumin pa or hindi okay thank you i hope you can watch the replay para malaman natin so, okay and for those who are first time watchers we usually do our live episodes mondays wednesdays and fridays now on a new time slot six in the evening until seven in the evening so you can watch it via my page dr josephine grace rojo or global tv network and good people tv we also have perfect at last books, weight, health and wellness and also health and wellness for less kasi kurik po tayo but we can get the best health and wellness that we can get even at minimum and no extra added cost. Lagi ako nadada pa it's been not funny na and make sure bumangon ka Monica, kaya mo yan at, and you learn from it kung pwede mag ka ng diary how you can how you can how you felt after you went off the way good and then you remind yourself how how much you do not like that feeling para maiwasan mo na so been diagnosed si Iro with psoriasis i think i've discussed that with many of my episodes mm, vegetarian i'm not fond of vegetarian in general pure vegetarian especially so Gina Choi first time thank you so much marami tayong first timers ngayon but our time is almost up I hope you can watch other videos in this page marami na po tayo we are doing this three times a week actually no so re if you want and if you want to have a structured learning para hindi pa balik balik ang lahat and you can actually become your own coach or the coach of your loved ones and families better to join our master class so we are going to have the first and most extensive low carb nutrition and fasting master class for beginners for personal use for family use for coaches for health trainers and for healthcare workers including doctors nutritionists nurses and those who are advocates of this way of life if gusto mong maging in charge of your health and if you already have problems, say for example diabetes or someone you love has diabetes, how much are you willing to, to spend? How much are you willing to give to get back the health that you've lost or you, that your loved ones lost? So 
ponder on that we still have this weekend and our master class uh, official list will be on april 5 and our class will start on april 10 17 24 and may 1 so that lahat po tayo, we can become advocates and we can help more and I hope, yes, low glycemic index versus high carb content ng rice and corn. Pareho lang sila. Very, very minimal yung differences, difference nila when it comes to glycemic index. And they're both not low. Because if you consider the ADA, ADA, American Diabetes Association of low glycemic index, below 50 is low na yun sa kanila. But for us low carbers, we are going into low glycemic index na definition under low carb less than 5 to 10 na glycemic index. So, yun talaga. So, if it's higher than that, then you should be cautious. You should still be very, very mindful when eating those things. Okay? So, eto lang muna talaga ngayon. <laughs> Talagang bukid. Sige, pumunta ka na kay Dr. Mark Hyman. Mag-end na tayo para hindi ka ma- para hindi ka ma-torn in between. Okay? Thank you so much. For those who wants to do online on consultations, just kindly message my page or you can book it through my clinic manager and also my brother facebook.com slash alvin dot rojo so wala akong ibang kapatid na ganyang pangalan so nag-iisa lang siya and my other brother andrew who is watching and our other special brother bati who is in our house so tatlong lalaki lang po sila sa aking aming magkakapatid and i trust them with my life thank you so so much uh hope we will learn more in the coming episodes i think we will have more guests and more interactions and i hope you can uh, be part of our groups life without rice and low carb feasting and fasting community and as always especially this lent season if you still have fats to lose you can fast as long as you can safely with the needed supplements with the needed mindset with the needed preparation and if you choose to break your fast and choose to eat you always stay low carb so that you will all stay safe maraming salamat po goodbye to everyone have a good friday and have a holy weekend ahead and a product one and a memorable one to you and your loved one. See you on Monday again. Bye bye. Maraming salamat po.